Hey guys, good morning. Happy weigh-in day. Um, <sighs> welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Maria. I have BSG surgery on 12324 with Dr. Brian Benetti at Northern Dutchess Hospital. And let's uh, let's just get into the numbers. That way, if that's what you're here for, okay, get good. Um, so today, week 19. We weighed in 234.1. We have time out. Okay, and time in. My not so graceful cat jumped up and was trying to get to the cat perch in the window there. So we were not receiving things. Anyway. Okay, so it's today, week 19. We weighed in at 234.1, which means we are down 1.1 pound from last week for a grand total of 63.2 pounds. Um, I, only a one pound loss is a, the diet mentality is like, oh, that's a little disappointing. Like, look at the numbers you've been having. Oh, sorry guys. Um, you know, two pounds, almost three pounds, you know, but I know that it's not, weight loss is not linear even after bariatric surgery. Um, the other thing is I have been having some issues, uh, with pooping, you know, that it just is what it is. It happens. Um, so there's probably some poop weight up in my colon and, you know, so again, it is what it is. It's not linear, but that's okay. A loss is still a loss. Um, so what's been going on? I am scheduled to have my haircut. And that made it sound so dramatic. Um, I'm going to get my haircut on the... Where are we? I'm looking at my, my calendar here. Well, a calendar. It doesn't have it written down. Uh, the 13th. So, wait, is it the 13th? Wait, what's today? Oh, goodness. I'm losing track of time, guys. Okay, today's only the 4th. Oh, my God. It's like, wait, I had it this week. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, the 13th, I go to get my hair cut. And we'll see what happens. So, because, you know, we got, we got all this. Ooh, that's getting kind of bad. And that's not as bad, but, ugh. Ooh. Why does it gotta be right here, guys? Like, why? Why? Like, could you take, like, my leg hair away, my pit hair, my chin hair? Why? Why right here? You know, like, it's not... Oof. Anyway. So, I text a stylist in my town. Um, someone had asked in one of the, the local, like, Facebook groups for people, for stylists who do curly hair. So, I just snagged recommendations off of that. Because um, I do have curly hair. It's not as curly now. Uh, post birthing a child. Because she stole them all. I didn't realize that was really a thing. My womb donor always blamed me for that too. So. Ugh. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So. Not next video. Not next week's video. But the video after that. You'll see a new, a new do. And we'll see what happens. I'm not... Ugh. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. I'm just, I'm trusting... I'm trusting the girl. Because she was saying, like, oh, like, maybe, like, some, like, something to frame your face. And, da -da -da -da. and it's like, okay. But I'm like, this goes back pretty far. Like, I don't understand. I don't know. Anyway. We're going to trust the experts. They're experts for a reason. I am not. I had to... Before my daughter... After I attempted to cut my daughter's hair the first time, I was uh, sworn never to cut hair again um, on anybody because it was that bad. So, um, shout out to Aunt Nani. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, that's not a skill I have at all. So, we're just, we've all got our talents and that is not mine, so I pay the experts. Um, so there's that. Something really exciting happens. Um, it was technically two days ago, but my husband told me about it last night. So, um, 
someone who did not know about the surgery notice my weight loss for the first time. This is the first time it's happened. Um, which is so freaking exciting for me because I'm like, um, sorry guys. Uh, you know, I haven't been up very long. Um, so my husband works in retail and we have one car. So I am in the store like fairly regularly, like picking him up so he can get the car, dropping home, that sort of thing, or just picking stuff up because it sells some grocery type things. Um, you know, just, just things like that. Um, or I'm just picking him up to take him home after the end of his shift. Um, so I see his coworkers fairly regularly and, um, all he told him was I was having surgery, so he needed time off for my recovery. And, which is fine, I wasn't gonna, like, push the subject, like, I didn't, I really didn't care. I told him if he wanted to tell them, he was more than welcome to, I really didn't care. Um, so, they didn't know. And I'd mentioned to him, I want to say, like, a, like, maybe, like, a month ago, I'm like, I'm surprised no one said anything yet. Like, I'm down, like, 50 pounds, like, am I so fat? Was I so fat that you couldn't tell I lost 50 pounds? You know, like, it seemed weird. But yesterday, his one, well, two days ago now, his one coworker had said, um, you know, I need to, your wife is shrinking. And I got, I got so happy when he told me that, guys. Um, so he said, he's like, yeah, that's what this, you know, I would hope so. This is why she had surgery. And she go, oh, that, that's why she had surgery. And he was like, yeah, it was either that or a hysterectomy. And she goes, oh, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yep, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, um, I was so, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, people are noticing. Yay. Um, cause you know, like I see my book club ladies like once a month, if I make it to the meeting, you know, so they notice, they see me semi-regularly and they they knew about the surgery um because the one meeting happened during the liquid pre-op diet no oh boy um so you know it anyway it just it made my week i'm so excited it might make my month i don't know but it's like you hey guys someone noticed yay um so yeah you know it's just um so it's funny, it's funny that if someone knows about the surgery and they don't say anything, um, like my daughter's therapist, she knows I had the surgery, but it was more mentioned in passing. I don't think my daughter really talks about it in therapy at all, you know, so I don't know if it's like truly registered with her therapist and I see her, you know, semi-regularly and she hasn't said anything, but also as a therapist, she may not be commenting on people's bodies for, you know, all the reasons, you know, so I get that. But anyway, I digress. Someone noticed. I'm so excited. So excited. Um, yeah, so that's what we have for today, guys. Um, we're down one pound. We're having poop and drama again. And uh, someone noticed. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm going to take this, uh, this excited energy um, and go, go start my day. I'm going to go eat breakfast, start my job, and uh, try and be productive today. Hmm. So, yeah. Guys, let me know how everything's going with your journeys, and I will talk to you in the comments. Bye.